Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to another month of Fey Freebies. This time we are kicking off July uh, with Morgan and Morgan's Battle. That's right, we have our dear children, Morgie and Morgie, and they even brought a friend. Um, I don't want to be rude, but I think she might be a bit of a bad influence on my dear children. <laughs> uh, I really thought it'd be Grima on this banner as the third unit, uh, but I would say that Edelgard is a good deal better? Although I kind of do want a plus 10 male Grima, so like, I don't know, I would have been happy with the chance at getting him. <laughs> uh, but we are going to go for a merge for our dear best daughter. Um, though I wouldn't mind if there's no blues, I wouldn't mind either uh, male Morgan or Edelgard. Edelgard just because she's bonkers good still. Although a lot of the time people just kind of plop her down on their team and just kind of uh, let her go and she ends up not being that difficult to deal with. I feel like either she's like super oppressive and like none of my units can touch her or like in AR uh, she ends up doing nothing, like literally nothing and she's just a free kill. <laughs> uh, Edelgard is very... Uh, Polarizing in that regard, I suppose. Polarizing is just always a good word to describe Edelgard, though. Uh, but I, I, I find it funny that she's either nigh unstoppable or a complete pushover, uh, depending on what team I happen to send out. Uh, she definitely does have checks, though. Uh, but if you if you don't pay attention, she can catch you off guard, and uh, she can still do damage. So wouldn't mind having her as an option. So I think we'll go green, red, colorless. I'll pull both the greens though. Uh, I don't need red or colorless that badly that I need to pull them, but I'll, I'll pull for any Morgan merges. Just Arthur. Bah. Technically, I don't really need the Morgan either, uh, the female Morgan, but I'd like to have her just because she's cool. <laughs> no, Basilio. Still cool, but, you know, not, not quite uh, my dear best daughter, you know. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this uh, Banner of Temptation is not foreshadowing the rest of the month, because I need to save. I still kind of want to go for Claude. Um, Byleth and Xander are supposed to share in September, so having extra orbs for that would be good. Uh, just please let me save. <laughs> Next, we have our Weekly Revival Banners, 29. Uh, with Amelia, Sanaki, and Nephany. And then 52 with our dear professor front and center. Uh, very ominous. It looks like, this This looks like, like, he looks very intimidating, and then it looks like these are like his retainers. I don't know, I really like the posing on this one. Like, Violet just looks like so intimidating. He's menacing, but he doesn't have a menace skill. He's, he's, he's just got, wow, odd speed wave and chill speed. I remember when those were considered premium, and even back then, I was like, these skills are kind of not worthwhile chasing. <laughs> I still do not like wave skills very much, but uh, even though our dear professor is fantastic, and he does actually have pretty decent fodder with Ruptured Sky and DC, not enough that he should have been top 10 on uh, the Three Houses voting event by any means, but he's got decent fodder. But I think I'm going to go Elliewood because I don't have one currently. I do, I do have a big sis as well, and I have some. I have an extra four fodder. But we're going to go for Elliewood. Try and pull a blue here. Nice. We really could pull the full wheel if I wanted all of these, but uh, our dear professor is already plus 10, so no need. No need. Just a Volbar. Not quite that exciting. We will save the orbs. Too many tempting things coming up. And then on this one, we will pull a blue for Nephany. Well, um, I don't really want Sanaki or Amelia that much, but I guess Amelia, uh, Armor March. Actually, Armor March, now I think people would just want the uh, new armor skill, so. I don't even know if Armor March would be that helpful, but, uh, got a Ross, not, not useful at all. Unfortunate. All right, we have Summer's Arrival. 
uh, with uh, Ennis, Tana, uh, Cordelia, and Nor. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I remember these <laughs> units uh, not aging the best. Um, I guess we'll go for Tana. I don't think I have her. I don't remember, but uh, probably going to go for her. I remember her refine being fairly good, uh, but I'm not too torn up over it. Uh, I'm a little nervous right now. I just used a, a variant of Rally Luck. I used Rally Anxiety. <laughs> uh, just got a Bantu. Okay, not too exciting. Probably for the best. I don't think my heart could take if I got something really cool right now. <laughs> uh, Alright, bye-bye, summer units. <laughs> okay, we have our Tempest Trial banner uh, with... Niffle, Loki, and Erica, the original Erica. I'd be a little more excited if this was a brave Erica, but alas, it's just the the original one uh, with her amazing hone speed three. You know, just what I've always wanted. <laughs> um, so we're going to go for Niffle. I actually could use Lola Tech speed for a potential project I've got coming up. Uh, so we'll see if we can grab that. Uh, but we did have uh, the uh, trailer for the new banner, and I'm relieved. It doesn't look like anything that I desperately need on there. Uh, and unfortunately, we just got Naoi. So I get to keep saving, and I'm still very much considering going for Summer Claude. If I decide to go through with it, I guess you guys probably already saw it by, this, by the point you see this. So uh, congratulate me on my summons. Or console me on the fact that it went horribly wrong. Who knows yet? <laughs> uh, well, I guess you guys do, but... Um, yeah, so if the next New Heroes banner doesn't interest me, I might be going for uh, Summer Claude, so that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, much more than I am uh, the next banner. <laughs> for the rerun of Elysian Summer, we're going to go for Tiki because she has Axe Valor, which would be very helpful uh, just to have. And frankly, it's not like I'm honestly going to use any of these units uh, unmerged. So uh, just a one-off Tiki would be the most useful of these. And we just got one green, so perfect. Come on, give us a Tiki. I really want Axe Valor. <laughs> I, I need help with SP grinding. Oh, we got her, yes! <laughs> that's, that's so good. I think that she's the... Uh, I think Axe Valor is the last Valor skill I'm missing. Um, there might be like one other Valor that I'm missing, but I think that, I think that might be the last one. Um, but that, that's, that's exciting just because <laughs> I really want Axe Valor. And I also remember I, back when Weapon Inheritance first came out, I really wanted to put the Melon Crusher on Camilla because back then, you know, this was, this was actually a, a decent weapon. Uh, as far as inheritables go, uh, mostly because it, it bumped up speed. Um, now, uh, no, <laughs> no, you get to live Tiki, uh, but I will be using you for your Axe Valor, which is very nice. So that's, that's a, that's a fantastic pull as far as, uh, janky old Gen 1 seasonal units go. <laughs> that, that's exciting. Perfect. Next up, we have the second summer banner of the year, taken by the Tide, uh, Sacred Stones and Heroes OC characters. Um, gotta say, this banner not as exciting for me as the uh, first one with three houses. Um, although, Leon's art is so good. I love this art. It's very pretty. Uh, he looks adorable. I really wish I could justify building him, but he's just a sword infantry. That's such a hard sell, even as like a demo. And again, he is a seasonal demo, so that's also harder to sell. If he were like a sword armor, I would absolutely be all over this. Um, but being infantry just kills it. Even if he were like sword flyer, I think I could be like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll plus 10 him long term. But as just a sword infantry, it's like, I've got Byleth, I've got Soleil, I've got Corrin. Uh, if you want to just go generally red infantry, I also have Mel Morgan now. I have Garen. 
Uh, and then if you wanted to go just swords, I have Xander. Like, it's just such a hard sell. And if he were just like an armor unit because, you know, he's slow and bulky and, you know, that you could say like, oh, yeah, he's bad at walking on the sand. So he's slow. I don't know. Uh, if he were a sword armor, I'd be very excited. But as it is, uh, he's just so difficult to sell me on. But he's my favorite unit on the banner. It's just I really can't think of a reason to build him. Um, then for the others, we have Erica. Uh, looks pretty dang solid. Uh, flying green mage. Uh, using impact and attack speed oath. Kind of surprised they didn't go like speed def oath. Uh, just to line up with that because like I don't know who else is going to want speed death oath though uh attack speed oath 4 looks pretty great uh much more enticing to use now uh now that it gives like warp and bonus stats uh pretty cool uh we have niffle and in this outfit uh she reminds me the first thing that came to mind was lady domitresk from resident evil um and then immediately after that uh, I also thought Bayonetta at the beginning of Bayonetta 2. Uh, she's got the big hat. She's got the long white coat. Uh, very nice. Uh, her damage art goes a completely different direction and looks uh, very odd. But uh, she looks solid. She's got attack speed catch 4. Always uh, pretty cool for uh, your cavalry and flyer units. Even if I'm still not wild about it. Uh, and she also has SR near trace. Which is a little jankier. Uh, who else can use that? Like, her regular form? Um, I guess maybe you could throw it on, like, some of the flying dragons. Uh, but not a ton of great options for it. Um, but a little awkward compared to the other trace skills. But I'm sure it's still good. I mean, it's literally Kanto, so. Uh, pretty solid. And then we have the duo, uh, Thor and Loki kind of thinking I want them uh not because like they especially appeal to me but they look solid as units uh they have this new exposure skill which makes the foe take an extra 10 damage and then they also give stall and then their duo skill gives gravity and uh neutralizes bonuses uh very solid looking skill uh could definitely see that being nasty in like uh ar offense or summoner duels uh yeah gravity especially just uh keep enemies from overwhelming you could be very nice so i think we're gonna go blue um i don't have a huge preference though i'd i'd take any of them but i think we'll pull the blue yeah we got one blue well we got two blues but we'll just take the one and uh take what we get there what have we got Ah, uh, just Ashana. <laughs> Not as exciting, but that's fine. Uh, again, wasn't too uh, desperate for any of these in particular. Ah, uh, Leon, why weren't you an armor unit? I would have been so happy. <laughs> All right, for our new power banner, um, we have Fallen Marita, Bridal Fjorm, Kel, and Mordecai. Um... Kells actually refine. It actually looked pretty interesting. It looked like you could get some nutty stats, but I also don't like her. And uh, it looked like her refine really wanted you to have her like maxed out, uh, which I'm not sure how effective it would be with lower merges. So uh, not interested in her either way, even though her refine looks cool. Um, I have already forgotten what Marita's did, but honestly, I would probably just save her for more null follow-up fodder. <laughs> uh... Mordecai I don't need because obviously I just have a bunch of them. Uh, so we're going to go for Bridal Fjorm. I just love her. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. Look at her. Her design is just so pretty. I love... I like Fjorm in general, but this is just like my favorite design. Uh, her New Year design is also really cool though. Um, but this one is like if I were going to plus 10 of Fjorm, this is the one I'd go for most likely. Even though her Ascendant form, or Ascendant Fjorm, I suppose, <laughs> uh, or is the strongest one, uh, I think I'd still want to plus 10 Bridal Fjorm just because she's so pretty. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Uh, I'm not sure if I ever want to get married, uh, or at least not like with a fancy wedding ceremony with dresses and everything, but like with an outfit like this, yeah, maybe. <laughs> 
Uh, although I suppose it's just as likely that I'd be the one insisting on wearing a dress that pretty. <laughs> All right, uh, that aside, let's go ahead, pull colorless. Ah, uh, do I want the second colorless? I kind of need to save, but I kind of want that second colorless. I don't need it, I don't need it. Even though I really want it, I don't need it. Just a Linhart. Linhart, I'm going to put you in the dress so that I can cope with not getting that form. I really want that other colorless, but I'm just going to save the orbs. I need them for uh, upcoming stuff, so. For Weekly Revival 30 and 11, um, I'm thinking on this one I'll go blue just because I like the blue options, although getting Ikes for, for an eventual accidental plus 10 Brave Ike would be very funny. Um, and on this one, I want to go for Grima, although Ishtar wouldn't be bad either. I've enjoyed using her since I got her Resplendent, and I finally felt like I had a reason to build her. Uh, and she's actually pretty cool. I think I run her with, like, Wind Sweep. Uh, she's really good for the uh, Genealogy Thracia limited hero battles. Um, but yeah, so I think blue and then green on the other one. But uh, blue-green would be good on either one. Uh, also, we are back up to over 700 orbs, though uh, not for long since I am planning to pull later this month. The uh, 700 orb curse will be back in full swing, but nice to see that we actually did make it back up to uh, 700. I, I kind of didn't think I was going to uh, this month before I pulled, but uh, those double Tempest Trial banners are too strong. <laughs> um, and on this one we were going to go green for Lord Grima. Show me a free agreement now. Bah. Two disappointing pulls. It's fine, I wasn't that desperate for anything on these banners, but it would have been nice. There were some cool units at least. For this month's revival banner, we have Abyss and Moosepell, uh, which is disappointing because uh, <laughs> we just got that free Yuri. Uh, really wish... We had, uh, as a community, voted for uh, something a little more uh, limited <laughs> instead of uh, a unit that was already literally scheduled to come back and in the common pool. <laughs> Oops. Um, whatever. Uh, speaking of voting, I'm also very upset with you guys. You let my dear Princess Mirabliss get out. I've been voting for her every single banner since the weekly revival started, and she finally dropped out. How could you guys let me down like this? I'm very disappointed in you all. I was very upset. I knew it was going to happen when I saw the, the banner lineup, but I was still upset about it. <laughs> So, um, for this banner, I don't have a huge need for any of these. Clearly, I don't need a Yuri anymore. Thanks, guys. Glad you got that taken care of for me. <laughs> uh, Happy wouldn't be bad. Uh, she does have AR Far Trace, which I could put on Leo. And she's also just dragon and beast effective if I got one with good IVs. So she might be worth going for. Constance, also kind of good. Um, but she's got that silly little odd even effect that I'm not wild about. AS Far Trace. I don't have anyone who needs it right now, but I might need someone in the future. I'm not sure. Could maybe find some use for it. Uh, she also has Speed Res Rain and Attack Speed Push 4 and Harsh Command, so pretty good fodder across the board. Clearly, I don't need Yuri, so we're not even going to talk about him. Uh, and then Moose Bell has Dragon Wall and Rally Up Attack, which could be funny for Papa Garen, um, if nothing else. Uh, but I can also get Dragon Wall with Divine Codes if I really desperately need it, so... I'm not in a huge rush for him. I think I want to go blue, then... Oh, but red has double. Red has Constance and Moose Bell. All right, I guess we'll go red, then blue, and then colorless is our third choice. Um, so we'll just do the free redeems on this. Uh, no reds, so we'll pop the blue. Try and get a happy. Try and get happy. No. <laughs> That doesn't help us. That does not increase my happiness. <laughs> uh, there we go. One red. Yeah, I, I forgot that uh, Constance and Moose Bell were both red for a minute, so that makes it slightly better to pull for that. But again, not going to lose sleep over not getting any of these. I've got more important things to save orbs for. 
third one. What have we got? No. <laughs> Just a Laszlo. Number four. Something cool. No. <laughs> Once again, no. And our last ticket with one last red. And just a Miranda to end things. Eh. Which is... Those, those polls were just eh, which is also how I feel about this banner winning the rerun, so. <laughs> For the Summer's Dream rerun, I don't have any desperate needs. I don't really need any of the fodder. I don't desperately need any of the units. Uh, so I guess we'll go for Kata over here uh, just because she's a harmonic, so she could be useful for... Uh, Heroes and Shadow Dragon weeks in Resonant Battles. <laughs> uh, which is at least more useful than I really need any of these other ones. Uh, probably for backup. Uh, Freya's kind of cool, but uh, Freya's probably better. I could put Fatal Smoke on Kaze. That would be funny. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll try green and then a colorless, I guess. Um, well, no green, so colorless it is. And uh, just hope and get... Uh, fatal smoke, but no luck. Said we just got another Linhart. <laughs> uh, between this and that five star one I got uh, last month, it feels like the game is really trying to push me to build him. But if they want to do that, they have to give him his three hopes design because that is the best Linhart version. <laughs> he looks super cute with that design. This one, eh, he's okay, but yeah, yeah, not. Uh, 200,000 feathers worth of okay, you know? <laughs> For the rerun of Overseas Memories, I'm only missing Dorothea, so I suppose we'll go for her, though, uh, for Three Houses Dance or for, like, Resonant Battles. And I'd probably just use her duo version instead, uh, but still wouldn't be bad to have an extra dancer. Um, if there's no colorless, then I think we'll go red uh, just for Ruptured Sky Fodder, I guess. <laughs> Um, but we got a colorless, so it's no, no issue. Nothing to worry about. We'll just pop this colorless and then call it good. Well, I don't know that I would call it good, but I would call it Priscilla. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alrighty, we have a Legendary Mythic Hero remix for Roy. Um, and... I'm a little tired. I just woke up actually uh, like an hour ago. Uh, I edited my Kazuha video, I uploaded it, and then I passed out. Because <laughs> uh, I did not sleep the night before. I was up uh, getting ready to record that, and then I was super excited after I did it, so I uh, stayed up until I edited it, and then I passed out. <laughs> but. Um, we have Roy with his new remix. Uh, I don't remember what it did. I refined it anyway just because uh, I used to use Roy a lot and having him with a bit of a power boost would be good. Oh, I forgot he got Spurn too. I should uh, teach him that. <laughs> um, and he's sharing with Volk, who I actually really would like another copy of. Uh, I foddered mine to Kaze, but getting another copy would be great. I was actually thinking, I was like, when is Volk going to come back? I was like... It'd be nice to pick up another copy of Lethality, and uh, I was like, has he been rerun like on one of the, like the legendary, or on one of the legendary remixes? And I saw there was a red spot open. I was like, maybe he'll be there. And I was like, yeah, probably not. He probably already reran. But nope, here he is. <laughs> so kind of want to pull for him. And then uh, we got Tiki and Lucina, both pretty solid. Um, green, Yoon, and Lin, not as exciting, although Joint Drive Speed isn't bad, actually. Uh, Yoon hasn't gotten a remix yet, right? Uh, and then Colorless has Air, and, uh, Yuri, why is he here again? I swear, 
His, his Ashen Wolves banner is just up. We just got him for free. He was just on a Hero Fest. Why do you guys vote for characters that are easy to get? I don't understand, people. Anyway, uh, so we're going to pull reds. Blue is back up. I kind of want to just try for a Volk. Honestly, that whole wheel is tempting, but I do need to save. But I'm, I, I do want that lethality. I could get it with combat manuals, but then I have to wait a while. And I have to do like a whole new path because I haven't done any of the uh, uh, codes on that path. But we got our first Kent, which is kind of cool. I forgot he was already demoted. I thought we had to wait on him a little bit longer for him to enter the pool. But uh, he's got speed death snag, which is interesting. I'm not sure when I would use it, but <laughs> it's interesting. And a easy source of attack speed bond. He's plus speed, which is pretty cool too. Uh... So not a bad free pull, but not who I'm looking for. I need that Volk man. Come on, give us the fire man. Corrin, I love you. You're early. <laughs> uh, it's in about uh, 10 days you're supposed to show up. Not now. <laughs> uh, he's got his resplendent. Uh, but he showed up early. I, I don't need him right now. Ah, Selif. I kind of want to pull more reds for that Volk, but uh, maybe we'll do that uh, later. I'm not sure. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it ends in 11 days, so I've still got time to decide, I think. For weekly revival 53 and 31, we're going to pull blue on both of these. Uh, would love a merge on Dimitri and Azura. I think both of them are at plus 4. Um, and I'd love to one day get them plus 10. Uh, if I weren't already planning on pulling on something later this month, uh, I'd even consider trying to get actual merges on them. But uh, for now, we're just going to uh, do the free pulls. Uh, as backup, probably Byleth for Ruptured Sky Fodder. I'd love to put that on, like, Morgan. Uh, male Morgan, specifically. And on this one... Um, uh, <laughs> I don't really need a Leo or an Elise, so I'm not sure. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, get uh, one blue. Nice. Come on, give us Dimitri. Give us Dimitri. Ah. We can't kill every last one of them with this guy. Come on. He ain't gonna do anything. And over here we'll go for Azura. Ah. I think I... Mm, Okay, I don't have to pick. I was going to say, I think I'd slightly lean towards Elise over Leo because I have more merges on Elise, but uh, it's not like I use either of them that much. <laughs> but we got a blue, so I don't have to pick at all. And we just got a Taya, so it was uh, completely moot. Thanks, Taya. Really appreciate you showing up. <laughs> For heroes with null skills, I was hoping that, uh, what was his name, Volk, uh, would show up on this one again. Uh, even though he was on this uh, Mythic Hero Remix, uh, sometimes they overlap the character on multiple banners at the same time. I was hoping I'd get another chance to try and free summon him, but alas. Um, with that said, I have Leon and uh, Galzus, but I think Surge Sparrow is more enticing than, what, than Fury 4 from Tyne. So I think I'm still going to go for Galzus, but she would be backup. Um, we got a red and we got no colorless anyway, so I will just try and get an extra Surge Sparrow, uh, to put on someone. Uh, but alas, instead we got, uh, Noel. <laughs> he is, uh, not going to be helping us much. Alright, we have the New Heroes Banner of the Month, Ymir, and more. Uh, not an inherently interesting banner for me, uh... We've got Est and Celica, but again. <laughs> and then we've got a new OC with Ymir. Um, they do have some interesting skills. Ymir has Everlasting Domain, which is basically like Drive Miracle, which is pretty bonkers looking. Uh, could be very strong for like Aether Raids uh, defense, probably even like offense and summoner duels as well. Um, could see it being very annoying, but the unit does have to have over 75% HP at the start of combat, so it's not going to save you if you're already down to like 10 HP, but uh, could be very good, uh, especially paired with some like units that are like super strong one-shot nukes. Uh, 
that are just super frail. Uh, make sure that they don't get sniped or something. Uh, I'm sure it has use. Uh, and then we have Celica with Infantry Null Follow-Up, which is uh, just like it grants uh, Null Follow-Up to infantry units in two spaces. Uh, pretty solid, though uh, a lot of my infantry units already have Null Follow-Up, or they don't care about it. So uh, limited use. Uh, and I've got Legendary Byleth who does kind of the same thing, but also affects uh, non-infantry units, who are the units that have more difficult time getting uh, null follow-up type effects. Uh, Est has Flow Feather 3, uh, which, speaking of null follow-up, gives kind of a uh, half null follow-up effect uh, if unit initiates combat, and then also uh, gives uh, one of those weird... Uh, if speed is greater than foe's speed, minus 10 deals damage during combat equal to 70% of difference between res stats. Like, that's so much nonsensical stuff. I don't want to compare speed and res. Annoying. Don't like. <laughs> uh, attack res push, one of the less exciting push skills. Uh, so, not as interested in her. And then our demote is Kamui, who has speed def ideal for the common pool and attack def 03. Uh, and up front blade. Uh, pretty solid stuff here. Pretty solid for a demote. Uh, we also got a direct demote in Atlas who had some skills. Uh, wouldn't say they were great skills. And then we also got Brigand Boss, uh, the meme. Uh, I really hope this meme dies now, uh, like the Gatekeeper meme mostly did, uh, as our Grand Hero Battle Unit. And he also has some skills. Uh, really, Kamui has, like, all the good skills, and then the other two just kind of got tossed in there as, like, filler with nothing of interest. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go green, colorless, blue in that order, and then red as, like, our last choice. Uh, but we got a green, uh, so we don't have to pick the other ones. And since these are not super interesting to me, I'm not gonna spend any orbs. Uh, but we got a Balthus to start. With our first ticket, uh, or with our free summon, now our first ticket. Uh, what have we got this time on this green? Oh, uh, a Charlotte. So not the five star we were looking for, but a five star nonetheless. A pretty good one. I did want her a while back to give Frenzy to Byleth, but then I just got the one from Combat Manuals. Uh, she does still have Swift Sparrow 3 and Frenzy and Time Pulse. I'm not sure who I would want those on necessarily. I mean, I am I could put it on like Ninja Corn and be funny, but he's already got like two damage reduction skills, so I don't know if I should keep investing in him. Uh, but she has plus speed minus attack, which is interesting at least. Uh, not a bad pull by any means, uh, just not the most useful one I could have dreamt up. I, I don't like units where they've got like three skills that I want to fodder and I'm just like, ah, which one do I get rid of? <laughs> uh, a Wrath, Boo, not helpful. Be gone, Wrath. Uh, speaking of Wrath, actually, I just noticed the other day, doing one of the limited Abyssal Clears for Dimitri, I think, uh, I noticed that we don't have Def and Res Smoke as seals still after all this time. I don't know, I just kind of didn't realize we didn't have those. It feels like we got the smokes so long ago that of course we got those, but nope, don't have them yet. Very funny. Uh, would, not, would be nice to get them as seals eventually, but uh, I have a feeling IS forgot too. And last green of the batch. Uh, what are we ending on? Nothing of interest. <laughs> a Luthier. All right, not the worst pull. Yeah, those those weren't the worst pulls. We got the Charlotte, we got the Balthus, and we got the Luthier. Definitely could have been worse. Uh, cannot complain about that for freebies. Ash is back! Yay! Our cutie boy Ash has returned. Uh, we're gonna pull a blue, hopefully. Uh, red is back up. Um, what if you had... Yeah, that wonky recovery skill that I'm not wild about. Casper doesn't interest me. Uh, so yeah, blue, red is back up. 
Uh, it's tempting to pull any blues that pop up, but I gotta save. Uh, sorry, Ash. Uh, there's only two anyway. We'll just take the one. What have we got? Come on, Ash. Bah. Bah. I can't use that. Alright, regretfully we will pass. For our Summer Refreshes rerun, um, I think I want Lynn. Uh, I remember her being pretty good. Um, yeah, she has this bow that'll probably get a refine eventually. Uh, and I already have Walt. Uh, I don't use him very much, but sometimes when there's a legendary Azure I can bait, I can put him in range. Lelina, I got a Broadleaf fan from the combat manuals. And I think I've got an Ursula combat manual too, so those two aren't as exciting since I don't really want to use them, so I guess we'll go for Lin. There we go, one blue. Perfect. I got so tired after editing video stuff yesterday that I just passed out. <laughs> so I'm actually recording this one. So I'm actually doing this free summon a bit late, and my punishment is a Reinhardt. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes you just gotta rest, right? That's what the uh, summer banner is all about, is taking time to rest and go on vacation, right? I need one. <laughs> I need to just sleep a little. <laughs> for weekly revivals 32 and 12, uh, not desperate for any of these. Um, on this one, I think I'll go Loki just because she has Earth Water Balm, which I could give to a healer if I build one in the future. Um, otherwise, not too in too exciting in terms of fodder and I already have a Levitine and a Hellbindi as well so uh, don't really need to keep them either. Hellbindi backup probably for infantry pulse um, and then on this one I'm gonna go Brave Lucina just because I use her the most I still use her uh, with Winter Altena on my AR offense so uh, an extra merge wouldn't hurt. Uh, Julia as backup because I also use her sometimes as a uh, Wings of Mercy nuke, uh, so uh, start with this one, go for, well, no low key, so I guess a help indie. Almost tempted to pull blue just for the sake of pulling blue, but. So, okay, what do we got? Oh, instead we got a Garrick, cool. <laughs> I'm actually uh, HM farming on Garrick right now, actually. I think he's at like 6,000 hero merit. Uh, I don't have anyone in mind to fodder him to, but, uh, now we've got an extra copy. <laughs> cool. Uh, free is free, and we will take that. Uh, and on this one, I'm gonna go for that Lucina, the Blue Cena. Brave Blue Cena. No. <laughs> Just Jagan. Kinda would have preferred if those two had, uh, swapped, but, you know, still can't complain. Uh, still happy to get a free 5-star. Alright, we have the Asker Mythic Hero banner uh, on my birthday. <laughs> uh, that means something, but I'm not sure what. My brain is too fried. Uh, I've been working on editing those uh, birthday summons. They're all edited, but the computer doesn't want to save them, so I've been dealing with that. And uh, while I was doing that, I remembered, oops, I've got to go record the Mythic Hero summon, so... Uh, on this one, I think we're just going to go colorless. Uh, I do already have Medius, uh, so it's a little less exciting, although I could just save Kanto Control for someone. Uh, but we have Asker as our new mythic, uh, who looks fun and seems like a cool character from what little we've seen of him. Uh, and then we've got Ashera, uh, who would be new, I guess. I don't really have much interest in using her, though. <laughs> uh, as backup, I think we want to go red. Again, I already have a Plumeria, uh, so a little less exciting, but I don't have Nana, and an extra Marita for Vital Astra could be very helpful. I could put that on, like, Ninja Corrin or regular Corrin. Uh, someone can use Vital Astra, I'm sure. For the other colors, I guess green has Celica, Arthur, I guess... Uh, and Oter. Oter is always, Oter is still cool, but, uh, the other two are kind of eh. And then Blue has Peony, 
Um, Saros, I could put Dragon Roll Wall on Garen, that'd be fun. Uh, or Dimitri, I already have uh, all three of them, so I think blue is the least exciting. But we're just gonna try and grab one colorless. Uh, perfect, just one, all we need. Try and get something cool. And instead we've just got a George. <laughs> ah well, I'm uh, swimming in five stars after that uh, big Claude summoning session, so I don't really need more stuff right now, it's fine. For the rerun of A Sketchy Summer, uh, gonna go for Big Sis Camilla. I don't really need her at this point, but I'd still like to have her just because I love Big Sis. Uh, and unfortunately we can't afford to drop any orbs on pulling any blues that pop up because, uh, yeah, we're still in a bit of a financial crisis right now because, uh, of that big birthday summoning session. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, thanks again to everyone, uh, for, uh, watching, uh, my birthday stuff and, uh, indulging me on that little celebration. Uh, usually I don't make that big of a deal out of my birthday, but... Uh, I had the motivation and it felt fun this time, uh, so I did it. <laughs> uh, don't know if I'll do that again next year, but it was fun. Um, oh, we got two blues. It's unfortunate, but we can only pick one. Um, but yeah, that, that video, <laughs> uh, the big video. Oh, we got a big sis! Oh, she's a little late for the birthday celebration, but she's still here, uh, and we are happy to have her. Look at her, she's so adorable. Oh, I love you, Camilla. <laughs> Everyone else is like, oh yeah, Camilla's hot, and I'm just like, she is my big sister, I love her so much. <laughs> Do not lewd. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet, I love her. Um, but yeah, that video, <laughs> I'll give a little bit of behind the scenes for it. Uh, it took me four attempts to save that thing because it kept crashing at the very end. It didn't crash early on in the video. It waited until the very end of the video to crash. Uh, so it saved everything, which took three hours. And then at the very last second, it was just like, nope. Uh, the total amount of time that I spent saving that video was, I think, like 13 hours <laughs> uh, between all the attempts. And... Uh, I think what was the issue was the uh, day-night cycle animated background that I tried to do. I uh, did not like that. <laughs> Gave me a lot of issues. Unfortunately, our big sis here is minus speed, which is pretty dang suboptimal, but that's okay. She's she's just gonna relax on the bench, relax on the beach, and we are just happy to have her here. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll get enough copies from the uh, seasonal four-star specials and I'll get a plus 10 big sis. Uh, but blue, <laughs> that'd be fun. Uh, though she'd directly compete with Morgan, so maybe maybe it's for the best, right? <laughs> um, that was plus res, yes. Uh, but still happy to have her. Fantastic. How great. Oh, before I forget, because uh, I didn't get to show it in the uh, video itself, because I had already recorded it and I was already working on editing it and everything, but look at the uh, the nice dinner I made for myself and then the nice ice cream cake. I haven't had ice cream cake in years. It was very nice to have it again. It was very good. <laughs> Just wanted to share that. Alrighty, we got the Norian Summer Rerun. And guys, guess what? We're already back up to 220 orbs. Woo! I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> Uh, no, I just thought it was, I, I got like really excited when I got one orb and I was like, ooh, the number's round and even. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm missing Xander and Elise on this one, so I guess I'll pull green. Uh, backup would probably be blue, because I do actually use my Corrin. Ah, uh, well, uh, I haven't had to use Leo that much. I do like him still, but, <laughs> boy, he has not aged well. But my Corrin still sees use on my flying cube. Oh, hey! Speaking of... <laughs> uh, I got the Camilla. And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll replace my Corrin. And she's like, oh shoot, I better show up and uh, cement my place on the flyer team. That flyer team is uh, New Year's Azura, Summer Corrin, uh, Summer Takumi, and Alencia. And it is still very good considering those are all like... 
year one, year two units. It's surprisingly solid. Uh, I think the fact that uh, Takumi has a fire sweet bow and Korn has a blade tome uh, really ties it together, but <laughs> very funny to get a uh, another summer corn. I'll probably just merge. Uh, it doesn't need to be. Uh, this one's like plus HP. I think my other one is m plus speed, which is better, but uh, at this point, probably want a plus attack one uh, since she's uh, not very fast by today's standards, but boy, she was speedy back in the day. <laughs> Uh, still very cool to get a free corn though. Also, I just remembered that uh, I really wanted a corn to give Morgan her Sea Life Tome because it was one of the only uh, support-oriented blue tomes. Even though it's frankly terrible. Uh, attack speed plus one to allies within two spaces. Ooh. Uh, but that was like one of the only supported blue tomes, so I wanted it for Morgan for arena cheerleading. It's really funny that Morgan somehow ended up with a supportive blue tome. <laughs> so, uh, didn't end up needing that, but I do remember actually wanting an extra copy of her for that at one point. Alright, to end this month, we have Weekly Revival 54 and 33. On this one, we're gonna go Ophelia, uh, just because she has, uh, Rally Up Attack Plus. Uh, which could be useful fodder for someone, I'm sure. Uh, the other options don't have particularly exciting fodder. Attack Res Solo and Bow Valor. I already have Bow Valor, so not that exciting. And then on this one, we're going to go for a Micaiah because I still <laughs> I still don't have a Micaiah to use. That'd be nice to have. Uh, Corn as backup wouldn't be bad either. I could put like Sudden Panic on someone or just use her. Uh, I already have an Alm, uh, but he's not bad either. I do use him on like Valentia exclusive maps, so having a merge on him wouldn't be bad. But I think we're going to prioritize blue on this one, green on this one. So let's just go ahead and start here. Just one blue. Perfect. What have we got? Nothing. <laughs> Just a Mordecai. Okie dokie. And on this one, let's try this green. Just a Sheena. That's okay. This was overall a very lucky month. <laughs> I think on the, uh, the revival banners alone, we got what? Adult Tiki, Camilla, and Corin. So we got, what, three uh, Summer Ladies on Rerun? Not bad, so can't complain. Uh, and that's in addition to all the uh, actual summons I did with orbs. So so overall, still did very well this month in terms of uh, summons. Can't complain by any means. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys, as always, so much for watching, joining me on another month of free summons. Best of luck to you guys on your summons, free or otherwise. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon signing out.